Hello, my name is Theresa Thielman and this is a theoretical assignment about conservation planning for the country of Colombia. Colombia is located in northern South America and its capital is Bogota. At the tip of South America is a country of lush rainforests, towering mountains and coffee plantations. The official language spoken is Spanish. The country's motto is Libertad e Orden, which is free, Spanish for freedom and order. The capital city of Colombia, which is called Bogota, is located in the Zona Rosa district that is well known for its restaurants, bars and shopping. In Bogota, there is a protected area right in the capital city, located on the eastern border, which is called Bosque Oriental. Colombia is listed as one of the world's mega diverse countries, hosting close to 10% of the planet's biodiversity. Worldwide, it ranks first in bird and orchid species diversity, second in plants, butterflies, freshwater and amphibian species. Colombia is the second richest endemic amphibian biodiversity after Brazil. It is home to 35 endemic mammal species, 68 endemic bird species, and 158 endemic reptile species, and 358 endemic amphibian species. With global biodiversity loss, However, with climate change, pollution, economic development, and many of our species are going extinct, is enough being done to conserve our environment? Methods and Materials Download your GLC Global Land Cover Layers from Planet Botany. In DivaGIS, download your administrative areas. In Tercet, a new project was created by right-clicking the grey area of the Tercet Explorer to create a new default folder. Import the admin layers in Tercet as well as your GLC dominant layer and new G artificial surfaces. To and remember to change your referencing system to lat long. Convert all the imported layers, artificial and land cover, to raster layers. By tapping raster vector in the toolbar by pressing the green arrow. Tick raster to polygon, tick idrisi to polygon file. Overlay admin zero layer with artificial, tick first time second to create a mask artificial layer. Overlay admin zero with your land cover to, and tick first time second. This creates a mask land cover layer. Type reclass into the toolbar and input Land cover, output crops to extend your land cover and, and reclass as follows. Using the image calculator, times the artificial layer by 5 and process this e expression. Overlay that layer with your crops and then divide by 100 for more manageable layers. This creates your cost surface layer. In DivaGIS, download roads and import to Tercet. Open ArcView GIS. Tick New View. Check ISRI Data, ISRI, ISRI Data, World, and select Country Shape File. Check the country layer in View. Zoom into the location of your country, i.e., Colombia. Click on Select Feature in the toolbar and then select your country, Colombia. Click on the hexagons in the toolbar, then tick with respect to selected features. Next, click on country shape, one record selected. Next, click hexagon. Change the area to 0 0.100. Save to working folder and rename hexagon shape to Columbia PU. This creates your systematic planning units. Open Tercet Import Planning Units. Remember to change your, your reference system to lat long. Import your admin 1 layers for your provinces. Output Columbia Prov. Remember to change your reference system to lat long. Mm. 
The tenure passes layer was created by reclassing the wall protected area layer downloaded from protected planet. The tenure layer was created by adding your crops to your cut of your cut artificial layer in overlay. After adding your crops and your cut artificial layer, add roads in overlay. The final output layer is called PU tenure. Next, find the species endemic to your country by googling Living National Treasures website and selecting Colombia. Copy individual species names into the IUCN red list. If there is data, click on the map and download the spatial data. Alternatively, you could copy the, the species name from, the, from Living National Treasures and copy it to GBIF. This will give you point data for your species that you have selected. This works well for plant species. Finally, run marks and exercise 6.6, .6, which is also available from Planet Botany. Results! Here's a list of the endemic species that are found in... Columbia that was used in this conservation plan. It includes six mammals and nine reptile species and 15 amphibian species. A total of 30 species was included in this conservation plan. These species are either all um, vulnerable, endangered or critically endangered. These maps were generated in marks and through a systematic conservation approach. The systematic conservation plan uses hexagons to select protected areas. The map on the left indicates where the current protected areas are located. The map on the right indicates the regions that are now protected, new protected areas that will be allocated to protect these new species. None of the 30 species in the sample were protected by the current protected areas in Colombia. The potentially new regions in, could only conserve a maximum of 18 species, and 12 species were unprotected even if the boundaries and penalty factors and the target species were set to extreme values. I tried running the conservation plan using the ecological regions approach in an attempt to conserve a greater number of species. Unfortunately, Marxin could not be run because the ecological layer had real values. I tried to convert the layer into integer or byte values, but it could not be done due to the size of the layer. The Discussion Concerning the list of endemic species that are recorded on the National Living Treasures website, not all of the species had coordinates when were downloaded from the GBIRF website. There was no point data allocated and there was no data available to run the conservation plans for Marksan. There are also many species that are not that are endemic to Colombia that are not on the recorded on the IUCN red list. Or if they are, they are data sufficient. So no special data was available for, for that species. The new conservation units do not include the current establishes, establishments that are allocated in Colombia. These new protect, protected areas infringe upon the current businesses and homes that are in Colombia. The question now is, do we inconvenience the source of incomes to families for endemic or critically endangered species? Do we choose to save animals who are about to die or choose to feed the mouths of the people? Yes, more should be done to conserve our nature but we can never conserve it all. Yes, more should be done 
to conserve our nature, but we can never conserve it all. To conserve our yes, nature, more should be done. But we can never to conserve, conserve our nature, all. but we can never yes, more should be done. To conserve our nature, but we can never conserve it all.